Hey guys, welcome back to more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So we're continuing on Goku's story. In the last one, we did the whole Beerus arc and the Golden Frieza arc with the red and blue hair Super Saiyan God thingy. Now moving on to fighting Goku Black. And the Future Trunks arc. Let's continue. Okay, let's do this thing. Oh, look, Champa. After Frieza is defeated, Beerus' own twin brother, Champa, appears, and Goku and his friends get caught up in an argument between the two brothers. Then they learn that there's a total of 12 universes, with theirs called Universe 7. Moreover, also apparently exists Super Dragon Balls in Universe 6, Champa's home, as well as Universe 7. These Super Dragon Balls can be used to summon Super Shenron, who possess the ability to grant any wish completely free of all restrictions. It is these Dragon Balls that are put up as a prize for the new tournament that will be held, the Tournament of Destroyers. At the end of many ferociously fought matches, Goku and the others emerge victorious. After being noticed by a powerful being, it is decided that Goku and his friends shall meet with the ruler of the universe, Zen O. And it is a meeting which changes everything. Shortly after this, Trunks arrives in the time machine for the future, asking Goku and others for their help. Sorry, I swung at you without any warning, Goku. For a second there, I thought you were someone else. Nah, you were just rattled. Don't worry about it. So tell us, who is this guy? Would you believe me if I said he called himself Goku? What? Me? He wears dark clothes instead of your orange ones, so we started calling him Goku Black. Black. I'll never forget the day he showed up. He said he was going to exterminate the human race. He said he was doing it in the name of justice. I struggled against him for a year after that, but by that point there were hardly any survivors left on Earth. Then, he tracked down Mom just before I came here. Wait a sec. My future self also wrote a message specifically for me. She wanted us to fix the machine and return with you. That means she wants me to go there and beat Kakarot myself. Come on, Vegeta, it's not me. It must be someone who just looks like me. Hey, Trunks. Help me gauge how strong this guy is. Fight me for a while so you can compare my strength to his. Sure. Ah, a little sparring match. Why not? All right, more talking. In order to understand the strength of his double ganger poster, Goku fights with Trunks to see how powerful he really is. The two of them go elsewhere to begin their sparring. However, an unexpected visitor soon joins them. I figured this out after you left. I call it Super Saiyan 3. That's incredible. I wouldn't expect anything less from you. In that case, I'll show you my strongest move. All right, attack me with everything you've got. <laughs> Goku Black! Wait, he's here? Huh? Hmm. Goku? And the Destroyer Beerus. Wow, you really do look alike, huh? How are you, Goku? You're looking quite well. So, we're about to watch Goku versus Goku. It's shaping up to be a fascinating day. I'm not done yet. I need to get my act together. What? That totally connected. That should have worked, that should have worked, that should have worked. You cheater, cheater, cheater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
you fool! I'm not done yet. Not bad. But you're a whole lot stronger than that, right? <laughs> I'm flattered you rate me so highly. But I'm getting too much out of this to rush. Can't be. I need to get my act together. Up. I sure could learn something from you. And the way you fight. Oh, transform. Three. One. Your turn. Go pink. It's time to end this. I agree. Excellent, Goku. You can hurt me as much as you want. The pain will only make me stronger. What is Sonic Blast? Uh, okay, that's a pretty creepy thing to say. Have some of this! <laughs> oh, this move. The one that on Beerus. Space-time must be dissipating. It's going back to normal. Okay. That was weird. The distortion of space-time from which Goku Black emerged swallowed him up and returned to the world of the future. We Spears attended and noticed that Goku Black was wearing the Supreme Kai's time ring. He also informs Goku that they exist in an individual universe 10 with the same key as Black, so they traveled together to find that individual. Let me guess, yeah, Zamasu. Upon arriving, they find a combat savant, savant named Zamasu, who is slated to become a Supreme Kai. He does indeed have the same key as Goku Black. However, it is Zamasu's first time meeting Goku, and he's completely unaware of the time ring that he can that can surpass the limitations of time and space. Uh, it would be your utmost pleasure to please engage in fisticuffs with me, your kindness, sir. Goku invites Zamasu to fight so he can witness his true power. All right, let's give it a go. You know. I haven't fought a god since Lord Beerus. You fought a destroyer? I'm not done yet. Here we go! Take it, take it, take it! Um, uh, what was that? Damn it! That's a little chair there. What's that doing there? I win. That went right through you. How? Oh no. Back shots of death, no. This should be planted suspicion. Ha, ha, ha. 
Too far away. I win. <laughs> you know, for just a plain old Kai, you're pretty strong. Between the antisocial psyche that's clearly lurking within him and the energy that he's projected outward, I'd say our suspicions that Zamasu is black have been circumstantially corroborated. Then maybe I should just dispense with him now while I can. Hmm? You guys sure about this? You know, he really didn't seem like such a bad guy to me. That's because you're too trusting of people. The energy I felt was similar, but it wasn't exactly the same as Black's. It seems there are more mysteries to solve. While Goku, Beerus, and Whis did meet Zamasu and confirm he indeed has the key similar to Black's, they left unable to prove that Zamasu is definitely Black. Now he's more like Green. Back on Earth, Boma and the others are hard at work repairing the time machine when a message arrives from the fearsome Zeno requesting they, they visit him. Goku is accompanied by the Serene Kai and others, however. If you do anything that Grand Zeno finds insulting, he could easily erase you, me, this entire reality from existence. Don't forget that. One more thing, Whis. If Grand Zeno does lash out, make sure it's not its Supreme Kai. I need him protected at all costs. Goku is surprised to hear that concern in his Beerus voice, but he nevertheless joins together Whis, Beerus, and the Supreme Kai. Whis soon divulges to Goku that if Supreme Kai dies, the destroyer of that universe, Beerus, will die too. Beerus is clearly flustered by Whis' words, but there's no time to comfort him. Goku and Whis use Supreme Kai's ability to set off for their palace. They're greeted by the Grand Minister, who takes them to Zeno. As they walk, Whis mentions that even he would not hold a candle to a Grand Minister. What's up? I mean, good day and greetings. So, what's going on with you? What do you want? I go first person? I did not know that. I'm not asking much. I just want a friend, you see. You're not like most people. You're fun. I want you to be my friend, Ogie Dogie. Y yeah, sure. We can do that, I guess, but is that the only reason you called? Is that a problem? Where's music? It's not a problem, no. Of course not, Grand Zeno. Goku would feel privileged to be your friend and provide you unsurpassed joy. You be quiet. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Uh. Why is it so weird all of a sudden? I'm sorry, Zeno, but actually now's a bad time. There's something I've got to take care of, but when it's done, we can play, I swear! So once you're done with your busy thing, you'll play with me? Sure! And if you want, I can bring somebody else who'd be even more fun to play with, too. So the next time, you won't have to wait on me. Really? Okay, it's a date! Bye-bye, Goku! As proof of Goku and Zeno's blossoming friendship, Zeno gives Goku a button that can summon him simply by pressing it. I forgot he got that. The three visitors then board the time machine and head for the world of the future. Oh, right. He used the button for later on, I think. Like to be able to defeat them. Go on, Goku. Rejoice. Only through me will you finally reach the pinnacle of beauty you have sought for so very long. You know, I don't know what you're rambling on about. Father! Despite Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta wielding God Key, he still falls at Super Saiyan Rose Black's hands. Oh, whoa. Sudden start. I was not ready, game. Jesus. Your kind 
it is incapable of understanding the grandeur of my success and the glory of my cause. It's like staring into the sun. It cannot see. The vast beauty of my being overwhelms you, for I am a breed apart and divine. What? Goku, give it to him. Give it to Block. Get fucked in the ass! What just happened? What was that? That's enough. Zamasu. Oh, whoa. I thought you were decent, but you're scheming with black. Scheming? Such a negative word. We are more like calm on a righteous crusade. Here it goes. I won't lose. My wait is almost over. Soon the world I've been dreaming of for so long will be made manifest. A truly just and perfect utopian existence. Mortals are unnecessary. And more than that, unwelcome in my paradise. He dodged it. But there's no way I'm letting you two get what you want. Goku, this time I'll fight. Why are we downgrade? Why are we downgrade? Um, 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 uh, what is this? It's over. Missed. Got him. Defeated. How disappointing you ungrateful and barbaric creatures are. The gods gave you minds capable of true wisdom, yet you wasted on self-interest and war. How? How did you come to that conclusion? How 
can you talk about the values of mortals after everything you've done to my world? Final Flash! You think you got him? What? It can't be! I've taken godhood to a new level. Divinity made perfect. With a body that befits a Kai. One that is invincible. I can already tell I'm going to be sleeping soundly tonight. This is your end. A Saiyan? Who's there? What just happened? Vegeta used the last of his strength to rescue Goku and the others who are able to return to their own world. The Supreme Kai comes to Goku and the others with the message that Zamasu is looking for Goku as well as the Supreme... Supreme... Super Dragon Balls. Upon hearing that, we speculate that Zamasu of the future will create Goku Black with the Super Dragon Balls and make himself immortal. It will be a year until the Super Dragon Balls can be used again, could Zamasu use the Supreme Kai's time ring to solve such a problem? Problem? Erm? Um, question mark? Zamasu is the only apprentice that does not pose a time ring, however he may steal one from the Supreme Kai of Universe 10. If that is his plan, then the life of Supreme Kai is at risk, whereas the others immediately head to Universe 10 and just decimate him, just like a flick of a hand. When they arrive, they find Zamazu just as he's about to murder the Serene Kai. Using the power of Hakai, Beerus wipes Zamazu from existence. It seems we've returned to a future where there is no black. Beerus informs them that a god killing another god will, will inevitably result in a change in the space time continuum. Trusting his words to travel to the future to see what difference they've made. My world didn't change. I knew it. Beerus couldn't fix this. Not even the act of a god made a difference. And now they face Zamazu and Goku Black once more. We know the truth. All the terrible things you've done. We know you used the Super Dragon Balls to get your power. You think I'm a copy? Oh, you're wrong. This is Goku's actual body. Down to the last battle scar. The perfect war machine. I took the time ring and found the super dragon balls. Then, with my first wish to the dragon, I switched bodies with you, Goku. Okay, so if you're telling us you're Zamasu, then who's this guy who actually looks like him? From your world's perspective, I'm the Zamasu from this world. And I work for justice with the Zamasu from the past. You haven't worked it out yet, Goku? I'm none other than the Kai once called Zamasu. The god defeated by a mere mortal. You. But how can that be? I saw Beerus destroy you. He said you'd be gone. Old Beerus clearly doesn't understand the full beauty of this time ring. Wearing it protects me. Not even what a god did in the past can affect me. Thanks to the Time Ring, I could empower my new ally without waiting at all. We collected the Super Dragon Balls in the future and wished again. You were willing to kill your Supreme Kai just to get that ring? Yes. Then we had to make sure no one would undo our accomplishments later. So we found the Super Dragon Balls once more and shattered them. Aren't they like planet-sized though? How do you do that? After that, we had to keep the other gods from interfering here. I used your strength to kill every other Kai in this multiverse. That means in this timeline, there are no more gods who can stop us. We have all the power. The two of us alone! This destruction was unfortunate, but necessary to achieve our virtuous goal. The Zero Mortal Plan. Mortals are a foolish and ugly mistake that stain the majesty of the cosmos. 
By eliminating all mortal creatures, we can reclaim this perfect creation. We've already cleansed a great number of planets of their repulsive mortal blight. Your filthy kind is worst of all. How many times have conflicts nearly destroyed this planet and threatened to spread across the universe? Because you are the ugliest, we are sentencing you to the heaviest punishment. A despair and terror that befits your wicked crimes. And none of you will escape it. This is it, Saiyans. For the sake of our most glorious project, you will die today. No, I will not. Come on, come on, come on. Get up. Back off. Got him. Cow can, cow can, cow can. I need that. Sure, you would have asked by now, Goku. Aren't you concerned about your family? My family? Where does one begin such a gripping tale? After I collected the Super Dragon Balls and switched bodies to you, I went to Earth to check to make sure we had really switched. And there I found you. You were shocked to find yourself in my body, and your family was terrified. Damn you! What about Chi Chi and Goten? Oh, sure, you can guess that much, Goku. You monster! You paid for that! You took my body! You took my life! Thank you, Goku. Your anger feels simply incredible. Now, you face my blade. I've been. Did I lose? What? Oh, and I didn't lose. Wait, did I? Vegeta? Goku and the others have been no match for Goku Black and Zamasu are nursing serious injuries. Thanks to Trunks' help and buying them time, they're able to return in the time machine. Just how are these two to be defeated? Goku and his friends are backed in the corner, but Piccolo has the idea that Masaroshi may be able to help. After learning the evil containment wave, Goku receives a jar from Masaroshi and goes straight to where the trunks and the others are. Immediately, he runs into Goku Black and Zamazu, who destroy the time machine right before their very eyes. There will be no more retreating. Now you're trapped here. So this world will be the last you ever see. For a god, you're surprisingly confused. This isn't going to be our final resting place. It's going to be yours. We were even going to bring you a casket, but we couldn't find one small enough. Our master Goasu and the other Kais were foolish enough to believe mortals could be entrusted with intellect. So, Kakarot! Where are you keeping that jar? It was in the time Oh. Oh crap! It was still in the time machine when they blew it up! How could you be that stupid? Fine. 
What's done is done. I'd rather win with our fist than some magic trick anyway. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. I was just joking about the time machine part. I didn't actually remember that actually happened. Do not tell gods what to do. Back off, bitch. For a pure and beautiful world. No, you will fall. Evil shall no longer exist. Yeah. I'm not done yet. I won't lose. Here I am. Take it. I win. No hard feelings. This is just the start. I'm channeling my divine rage into power. I have forged a new instrument with which to destroy you. This side will carve a reminder into your mortal flesh of the strength of my divine wrath. <laughs> Just as we foresaw, fighting this formidable Saiyan blight has carried us both to new heights. This proves our transformative power. Our destiny is to cast judgment upon all creation. I could use an Hold it! <laughs> What's the matter? Relax. Don't be afraid. I thought you Saiyans love fighting the strongest. <laughs> it was like this, right? You fool! <laughs> Foolish! With Kao Ken. Father! Goku! Trunks, you okay? He's weak. Trunks must have done something. How did you disgrace yourself against those mortals? We were barely separated. What went wrong? It seems many of our assumptions about mortals were badly mistaken. They are much more than just insignificant beings. If we're not careful, our dream of utopia is going to be ruined before it's even begun. What? What just happened? I was winning and suddenly something has happened. I don't know what happened. Let's try again. Badly mistaken. They are you pathetic, lowly mortals. Shit. Good counter, good counter. Good parry. Magnificent. The body of a saint is the only This game is over. You shall kneel before our radium. They're gonna fuse. Justice together! Gay sex! Thus begins a new world. Face my divine wrath! No. Show your reverence and bow down. Whoa, look at that aura. It's all like rainbow and stuff. Worship. Give praise unto me. Me the beautiful. The sublime. Me the invincible. I just realized they're full health now. That's so unfair. And I'm low in health. I literally have nothing. Keep Bulma safe! Right! No, no. Face my divine wrath! Now witness the wrath of the gods! Face my divine wrath! Now witness the wrath of the gods! 
Great. So there's a third phase where they fuse and they get all their health back. You better keep your focus on me. Mortals do not tell gods what to do. So we Too close. I'm going all out. I am not alone. I could use an extra hand, yes. I won't lose. I'm going all out. Break through the limit. This was just the start. I'm channeling my divine rage into power. I have forged a new instrument with which to destroy you. This side will carve a reminder into your mortal flesh of the strength of my divine wrath. <laughs> just as we foresaw, fighting this formidable Saiyan blight has carried us both to new heights. This proves our transformative power. Our destiny is to cast judgment upon all creation. Hold it! <laughs> What's the matter, mortals? Relax. Don't be afraid. I thought you Saiyans loved fighting the strongest. Foolish. Admit defeat. something <sighs> you can disgrace yourself against those mortals we were barely separated what went wrong it seems many of our assumptions about the mortals were badly mistaken they are much more than just insignificant words. if we're not careful our dream of utopia is going to be ruined before it's even begun. Very well. No more games, you pathetic, lowly mortals. You before our radiance. This game is over. You shall kneel before our radiance. Justice together! Thus begins a new world. Show your reverence and bow down before our splendor. Worship. Give praise unto me. Me the beautiful, the sublime. Me the invincible, the almighty and divine. All hail so Trumps, keep Boma safe! Ta me! Ta me! Ta! Right! <laughs> oh, 
hearken unto me. I am the brightly glowing sun in the sky which illuminates this world. And all shall know that my brilliance is just. Universal wisdom, the universal law, and yes, the universal power. Wait, they do it? I thought I was gonna die there. I had like negative one HP left. a shield for this world and for all of us mortals i'm putting all of our hope into this one blast gallic gun come on trunks give it all you've got right i've had enough of you impudent mortals away with you samasu Get ready, cause I'm knocking your lights out for good! I shall smite the heart of the wicked! Face my divine wrath! Blasphemous fool! You continue to defy a god! With Galagun and Goku's Kamehameha, Vegeta and the others think they have won. But then, the fused Zamasu's body starts to change. Half of this combined Zamasu came from black. It seems the part of his body that's vulnerable to attacks is affecting the part that isn't. Okay, Vegeta, it's time. We're gonna fuse, just like them. Don't, you can't be serious, clown. There's no way I'm going to do that again. I don't like this any more than you do, Vegeta. But if we still need a major boost in power to break down his body, then this is the best chance we've got. Come on, you gotta admit I'm right about this. Good luck, you two. Thank you. It's now or never, Vegeta. There's something I've always wondered. When we fused last time, the Kai said it was permanent. But we split apart anyway. Do you know why? The truth is, it's only permanent if a Supreme Kai is involved. Otherwise, it only lasts an hour. So just a one-hour battle, then we're back to ourselves. Cut it out. If you say one more word, then the answer's no. Damn it all. One hour, but that's it. Vegeta, I need your help just one more time. So I swore I'd never merge bodies with you again. All right! Yay, six! Who are you? What? You two doubled up, so we did the same. You know, just to play fair. We're a merged fighter, a combination of Vegeta and Kakarot. Vegeta! Then here's something new. Vegeta Blue! Get ready for this. Oh shit, automatically. I just blew up. And I like, I don't know nobody. But you're still not a god. Okay. What do you say we wrap this up? Not bad. This is the end for you. Ah! Final. I like that flash. That looked really cool. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this hurting you? <laughs> you aren't a purely invincible god anymore. And you can never get the number of mortals down to zero now. You see, now that you've merged, you've taken in something that's always going to be a part of you for as long as you live. 
Goku's mortal and destructible body. You don't think that's a revelation? That Goku's body will always be a part of me? Of course you will. Such was my desire. You are mortal, Saiyan. Yet you've gained divine power. You're stronger than most deities now. Saiyans are the ultimate symbol of the failure of the Kai's. By taking Goku's flesh into my being, I have assumed both the sins of mortal kind and the failure of divinity, so they may never be repeated. Got an answer for everything, huh? Just one big yapper. I'll just die already. Show me the flash. Come on. It hasn't been an hour yet. Man, this whole arc's been one big pushover. Easy one in the game by far. That's one big sword. Split it apart, things are looking pretty dire for Goku and Vegeta. However, all is not lost as Trunks soon comes to the rescue. It's not about gods and mortals. You don't believe in anything but yourself. And we won't let you win! I can feel it. Keep it coming, guys. Share your power with me. Gathering a key of all surviving mortals and pouring into the sword, Trunks uses blade to fall, fell Zamazu. However, just as everyone thinks Zamazu is gone once and for all, he enshrouds the earth in his incorporeal form. All of humanity is lost, apart from our heroes. Is there really no way to stop Scourge from Zamazu? The situation is desperate, but Goku has an idea. Supreme Kai, tell me. Do you think the Zeno of this timeline is still around? Yes, there's no question. Of course he would be. No one can defeat Grand Zeno. It's impossible. Hearing those words, Goku pulls out a button given by the Grand Zeno that will summon him no matter where he is and presses it. With this, Grand Zeno appears in Trunks' world and Goku proposes that Zeno erase Zamazu from existence. All of existence. However, Zeno is less than impressed by the depressing world has been summoned to and opts to destroy the entire planet instead. Goku and the others dash to their time machine and make a narrow escape. Trunks and their friends have lost their home, but they've learned from Whis that they may be able to return to the same world once before it was erased. With Whis' help, they seal away the Zamazu of that world. Bidding farewell to Goku and the others, Trunks sends off to the next adventure in his new world. And that is it. That is the end of that arc. Now what's next? Next up is Universe Survival Arc. Which one is that one? I do not remember that name. Universe Survival? Is that the start of the the Universe of Power tournament? So I guess this is a part where Go Goku goes around and looks for people for his team. It's really cool if they'll include like the Broly movie, but I don't know if they would. I mean, they included the beer stuff and the freezer stuff, even though maybe that counted because they're in the anime as well. Like, it turned into anime arcs, so I'm not sure if the Broly movie would be included in this. Mind you, I don't know what's in this or not. I haven't looked anything up, but I'm just saying, it would be cool if we can play the Broly movie stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'll end it here. I would you watching. See you next time for some more Spark and Zero. Bye.